The fan we are wiring is the Panasonic Whisper Green Select FV0511VKSL1. The fan has a multi-speed timer pre-installed. The scenario we have, we have a one gang box with a single pull switch controlling both the fan and light. We are pulling a new wire from the switch box up to the fan. We will be taking constant power from the switch box to the fan. We will also be using the red wires at the fan to achieve spot ventilation. With us having a one gang box and needing two switches, we will be using a double single pole switch. Okay, so we're down here in the bathroom now. We're going to go ahead and pull this existing switch out. Go ahead and pull all these wires out of the box. We have to pull a new wire up into the attic to that fan. So we've got the wires out of there. So what we're going to do is, is knock the knockout out of the back of that box. So now we're going to go up into the attic and we're going to drop the fiberglass rod down and uh, pull a new wire up into the attic to the fan. Okay, we're back up here in the attic. We're going to prep to get ready to pull our new wire from the switch box up into the attic. You can see here what I like to do. I like to drill a larger hole next to the wire that's going down into the box. So I usually drill about an inch and three quarter hole down there. Then I can see straight down in that box from up in the attic and I can drop my, my fiberglass rod then straight down into that box. And then we can pull that wire straight into the attic. Okay, we're back down here in the bathroom. We've got the fiberglass rod stuffed down in the box. So now we're just going to pull it out and get ready to tape the wires to it. So I'm going to use my needle nose pliers, reach back in there, grab the fiberglass rod, and just tape the wire to it. You want to make sure you secure that pretty well. You don't have to use a ton of tape, but just make sure you get it on there good and tight. That wire is not slipping. I'll tape it in two spots. Should be good enough. You might need somebody else in the attic to help you get this fed up in there and pulled up in there. But you're simply going to work it straight back into the box. Sometimes they're a little snug, but there we go. I've got it fed back up in there. So now we can pull that directly into the attic and just make our electric connections at the switch and in the attic. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get this switch out of the way. <clears throat> We're not going to use it. I'm simply just going to cut it out of the way and then just separate our wires. Here's our new wire that we pulled through. It is a 14-3 with ground, so you can see we have a ground, we have a neutral, we have a red common and a black common. <coughs> now here I'm just going to unhook some wires, separate them out, figure out what we've got going on here. So all the wires are separated now. decide what we've got here so so power is coming into this switch box from down low and going out up high so I'm just going to pull these down here I know this is our common this is our neutral the first thing we're going to do is just get these ground wires put together I'm going to put a pigtail on that to go directly to the switch.
Okay. There's my ground. Let's get him tucked back in the box. <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is here's our common wire, our power. These two here are going to do our hook to our red signal wires. So they're both going to go on the switch. Remember, there's never any power on the red signal wires. So we'll just get those stripped back and ready to go onto our switch. <clears throat> Push those up out of the way. Now we have to get a, a neutral to the fan and up there for the light. So the bottom here, this is our, our neutral, our new wire we pulled up there. We're going to take for a neutral for both our fan and our light in this case. those put together stuff those back in the box we'll get them out of the way <clears throat> now we need we're going to use our red wire to switch the light the constant power we're going to take up there with the black but yet we have to get power to the switch for the light so we're just going to pigtail here. Strip those back. Grab our black pigtail. Get those put together. Fold that back in the box. This is going to go on the switch. So let's get that stripped off and ready. Same as the red one. <clears throat> and ready. So, since we have a one gang box, we have to use a special switch here. It's just a, a it's two toggle switches put together in, in one gang. <clears throat> but we remember we don't want any power on the signal wires. So you can see this little tab right here, it's allowing power to go to both screws. So what I have to do is break that little tab out of there. So I'm going to use my needle nose pliers, hopefully. Break the tab, which I have. Let's get those <clears throat> put on the fan. So we're going to use the bottom switch for the fan. Oh, let's first let's get the ground wire put on here. for our red signal wire. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and get those installed. <clears throat> Put the black wire directly on the other side. Now our wires for our <clears throat> light go on the other next two terminals.
So we have all the wiring done now. So the top switch, if you remember, the top switch will be turning the light on and off. And the bottom switch will be ramping up the fan to, to achieve spot ventilation. Okay, we're back up here in the attic. First thing I'm going to do is just remove the, the old wire, the wires from the old fan here. Get them separated. So if you remember this wire down the box, we're using for spot ventilation. So the black and white are going to go to the red signal wires. We also have the wire here stripped back and ready that we pulled up to the attic from the switch box. So <clears throat> the first thing is just going to be get rid of the grounds, get those wires put together and just put out of the way and we can move on to our other wiring. So we've got those wired. These are the red signal wires. Our red is going to switch the light on and off. Our black common is going to be constant power to the fan. We're going to take, and then we have our neutral wire. So I'm going to take the neutral for the fan and the light, put those together, and take to our neutral. Get those put together. The red wire is going to go to this black here. If you can see it or not, but it shows light right there. So we are going to get those put together. Now our black common from our fan to our black common here goes together. <clears throat> now we just simply have our two red signal wires left. One's going to go on the white and one's going to go on the black. Yep, didn't hold. Go. Our black common or our black signal wire to our red signal wire. Put together so we have all the electrical connections done. So now down there, one switch will turn on the light, one switch will ramp the fan up into to achieve spot ventilation.